So I've done a lot of microphone reviews in the past and a lot of people have asked me, okay, this microphone is nice, but is there anything that I can use for an interview? And uh, I've never really been able to respond to it, you know, just because there isn't really a whole lot of mics out there that come in a kit like this that are dual microphone, but now there is. So this is probably one of the more cost-effective options that you can get. Uh, these, um, the Kamika uh, WM100 Plus, I think this retails for about 240 uh, US dollars. So anyway, uh, it is actually an upgrade from the WM100 and let me show you why. So this is the WM100 Plus and this is the WM100 and there is actually a difference between the two and this is the reason why this is worth getting. It has a separate power button and LED lights for RF and IR. Uh, Design-wise, they look about the same, but this one's actually slightly smaller and has a more rigid kind of layout. Now, the, the main thing that I really hated about these transmitters were the battery doors, the original ones. And these battery doors are terrible, uh, simply because these can fall out really easy when you're recording. And this door is so light that when batteries are in here, this thing can just bloop, and it's fallen out on me before when I haven't been paying attention if you don't get these latched in all the way. So, in my original review of the uh, WM100, that was my biggest complaint about these. As a transmitter and receiver, they were fine, but the microphone sucked, which is no different on this. But this one does have an improved battery door. So at least they took that to light and said, oh, we need to fix that. So that is definitely improved. But other than that, it's still pretty much about the same thing. And just look at those fancy specs. Just in case you're wondering, that's, that's what it is. Um, this one is actually already turned on. And this comes with several different uh, microphone adapters and input adapters to use on here. So let's just go over what's in this kit really quick. Now what you're hearing is the camera microphones. Let's set our wheel to the side here. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on the camera. Now what you're hearing is the Kamika microphone and as I stated in my original review i got to clip this on my pants better. Actually, I'll just leave it here. I don't need to do that. Um, as I stated in my original review of this, uh, the transmitters themselves, the transmitter and the receiver work great. And I think that the range is good and you don't get any static or anything like that. The only problem is the lav mics that come with this and then these clips that go on the back. You can see how they mount on there. These are pretty chintzy. But the, the actual transmitters and receivers themselves were pretty nice. Here's the manual for it. It has this pocket that flips out. And then in here, there is a dead cat or a dead mouse. In this case, I guess it would be like a very small dead baby mouse um, that you can put over the microphone. And it's, but wow, did that expand a lot when I pulled it out of the bag. But anyway, this goes on the lav. So yeah, really, Pretty useful as far as wind reduction there. And then here is just the extra microphone, the stock mic that comes with it. Then on this side you get a uh, your input. So this mounts onto the transmitter and this is an XLR adapter. So if you want to plug these mics directly into XLR you can. And now I think I'm probably pretty sick of hearing myself on this microphone. So I'm going to switch it over and I'm going to switch this over to the Power DY's $20 lav from Amazon. All right, here's the, the Power DY's lav and I think this sounds just a little bit better. Now the last cable that we get in here, now you keep in mind you get two dead mice, you get two uh, lavs, um, two transmitters, one receiver, and then you get uh, two adapters. And this is your USB um, 
firmware update cable. And it looks like it's just a regular USB cable, nothing too crazy, like a standard Android style USB cable, the older style, not the C, but the one before it. I already know the range is good on these, and the fact that it's an interview kit is great. Um, highly recommend these as a transmitter themselves, and the price is right, but the only problem is the uh, microphones suck. I think they're just way too muffled. So this is the reason why you want to use a lav mic over a boom mic is because when you get something like this behind you, this definitely makes my voice stand out in this video even though they are way louder than me. So there you go. And they look like they're having a good time. So they're definitely down for it. <laughs> yeah, they dig it. But this is, this is one of those situations where lav mics are definitely dominant because of stuff okay, like that. Can I go party with them? Okay, so now all we're doing is testing out uh, these lav mics like out in the field. So I've got Bree, my new assistant. She's wearing one and she's behind the camera. And then, of course, I'm wearing one right now. And basically, we're just trying to see what the audio quality is like because we're standing on a busy street. We're on the corner of Indian School and Marshall Way and it's the beginning of rush hour traffic so things are starting to get busy here the streets getting noisy and this is where a boom mic is like the worst thing that you could possibly put on the camera because you're picking up more ambient noise behind you and if you had any idea how loud this actually was as a matter of fact we'll show you but really quick Bree how loud do you think it is out here it's pretty loud it's not too bad right street noise yeah, I mean, there's a lot of street noise, but not as bad as those girls on the on the party bar. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Okay, so we're gonna stop recording, unplug the mic, and then we'll let you see what it sounds like ambient-wise. So stop recording. Yep. So this is what it sounds like with just an ambient microphone using the camera's microphone to pick all this up. Keep in mind the Sony A6400's mic actually sounds like a boom microphone. So this is kind of like full ambient. All you're going to get is a lot of traffic noise around you, the wind, whatever else. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of extra noise that you filter out when you go to a lab setup. Hope you guys like this review. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Otherwise, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.